Hey everyone, it's Araldo here, and today I'm here with a very special uh, episode of my class guide. Uh, it's my 50th class guide, yay! Uh, not only is it the 50th class guide, but it's also the um, day of release of a new game, Battle Gems. How is this connected? Well, it's a coincidence that it's my 50th class guide, but that's still really cool. Uh, and it coincides with the release of Battle Gems, because the Battle Gem thing gave you a class. It's a really cool game, it's available on iOS, uh, so get it on your iPods or iPhones or iPads. And uh, if you buy the founder package for 10 US dollars and link that with your account, you just go into your book of lore and scroll around until you get the Battle Gems badge here. And uh, there's a whole lot of Battle Gems themed stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, but the one we're interested in is the Dragonite class. So uh, this is how you get the class. In terms of enhancements, you're going to want to go with Full Wizard. Uh, this is because Spellblade, the auto attack, is based off of your uh, spell power, as it says so down the bottom, your magical damage rather than your strength. So strength is actually useless with this class, really. Uh, you want your intellect as high as possible because all the moves are magically based. Now, I've tried some luck. Uh, I feel that you get plenty of luck as it is, and it actually makes the spell, I mean, the spell, the class worse if you go for too much luck. Uh, I mean, you've got decent hit, haste, crit, and evasion for this sort of class. Uh, all the moves are magically based, as I've said, and the passives are reduce spell damage taken by 20% and increase intellect by 16% and your hit chance by 20 so that's a really good chance to hit you hit a lot more often and you'll see a noticeable damage increase from uh rank 4 to rank 5 once you or rank 3 to rank 4 once you uh relog and get the effect in terms of mana region now i don't know if it's still meant to be called draconic spell sword if they want to change that but uh in terms of this if it's true then you'll be regening like a berserker the less health you have the more you get back. Now in terms of your ore enhancements, you're going to want uh, either to go with health vamp since this class has no heal of its own, or you're going to want to go with spiral carve to increase your crits because this class has a decent amount of power. So before I continue I just want to point out that I'm using the Voltaire's guitar weapon. That's a static damage range, it means it will hit the same amount of damage every time. You can use unstable damage range weapons and hit a huge amount more or a huge amount less. I'm just showing you the average for the purpose of making a guide. So don't tell me I'm wrong. I'm not saying you have to do this. It's just the way I'm doing it to show the average damage. Now, as I said, the auto attack is based off of your magical damage. And uh, as you can see, the, off, uh, the auto attack hits quite high. Uh, luck will decrease your average auto attack strike. Your crit will go up a bit, but you'll lose a lot of damage. Now, the first move also has special effects based on which of the first two moves you're using. So we'll just kill this guy, and I'll show you how those work. So you've got Dragon's Fire, 25 mana, 8 second cooldown. Every time you hit with the auto attack, you increase this damage over time. Uh, luck, well, the um, damage over time starts with 20, whereas Magical, it starts with 30. So you can see a huge difference in the uh, damage over time alone. Uh, now this stacks up to 20 times, but it's cancelled by the second if, second move over here, so you've got to actually chop and choose between the two of them. Uh, personally, this is my favourite of the two, I think it's the most useful. The uh, second one costs 25 mana, has an 11 second cooldown, and basically just gives a chance to stun. Um, and that doesn't actually happen all that often. Just keep the effect applied. But as you can see, and it's only a two second stun, so it's really up to chance here. Uh, neither of these moves do damage. You've, it's basically applying an effect. Third move does a couple of things. It applies sword play, which gives them, well, makes your opponent hit you a lot less often. And disarmed, which means when they do hit you, like that, they do significantly less damage. So this is something you just want to have uh, 
in the background as much as possible. 21 second cooldown, 21 mana. So uh, it's quite unlikely for them to hit you. Uh, your final move is pretty cool. It's just a large amount of damage. 1,081 on average as you can see. And that'll crit for about 2,800 unless you have this move activated first. Uh, oh, just let me just demonstrate. <laughs> You've got to activate the effect first, and then, as you can see, well, three thousand three hundred as opposed to two thousand eight hundred. So I guess I've shown you a uh, increase. But what I really wanted to show you was the standard damage, and I'll do that in a second. That increases by about 150, which is pretty good. Now, just show you that this doesn't make all that much of a difference to your other moves. I mean, it does a little, but it's not nearly as dramatic as the first one. So, you'll want to just... <sighs> to, to put it this way... I think it's best to just have the first move going, have this move going on in the background, and then whenever possible, augment it, its damage with that. So that would be the combo. Uh, one, well not one, but dragon fire whenever possible, having this sword play increasing your defense, and then doing extra damage with your final move. Uh, it's nice to see more interesting things being done with classes. I mean, this isn't the most powerful thing in the game, but it's nice. It's nice to see auto attacks actually doing magic damage for magic classes as opposed to uh, physical damage for physical classes. Uh, the art's quite nice as well. Uh, so thanks for joining me for my um, 50th class guide and the uh, launch of Battle Gems. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be doing an evolved leprechaun guide and a leprechaun guide at some point this week. And also a dark caster comparison where I compare dark caster and evolved dark caster. And uh, arachnomancer. I will do an arachnomancer class guide hopefully as soon as it's out. Until then, bye.